It's been a little while since I've uploaded. I believe I did mention that I was going to be moving, so I've been pretty disengaged from the Hearthstone community for the last week or so. So I did a little bit of research trying to figure out what I missed during that week or week and a half that I wasn't playing too much, and I saw a lot of people were talking about Artifact, and I wasn't really sure what they meant, but I opened up my game client, searched for Artifact, and I guess they were talking about Archthief or Fawn, because his battle cry is discover a powerful artifact. Unfortunately, with as much as people were talking about this card, I couldn't find a list, so I had to pull something together myself. So because Archthief or Fawn is a 9 mana card, I assumed that Druid was probably the class because of all the ramp cards, Nourish, and Wild Growth. And I guess after the nerf to Aviana, people were looking for the next Druid deck to define the Wild format. And Rafam actually got some pretty decent support in the Boomsday project. There's Dream Petal Florist, which can discount either Rafam or Brand Bronzebeard, which lets you get two artifacts in one turn. There's also Floop, so you can just go Rafam into a second Rafam. And probably most important is the Juicy Psych Melon. This means that you can find your Rafam every game, and you can also find some pretty good cards to go along with it. For the 7 slot, we have the previously mentioned Dream Petal Florist. In the 8 mana slot, you can pull Medivh, which has synergy with the 10 cost spells Rafam gives you. Or just pull a Lich King is a pretty solid card. And then in the 10 drop slot, you get Kuhn, which is just an insane card. Or Yogg-Saron, everyone's favorite old god. And then other than that, we've got some other broken druid cards. We've got two copies of Spreading Plague, which happen to also synergize with Medivh. And to an extent, they create a sticky board state so that you can land your plus 10 plus 10 artifact. We have Arcane Tyrant, which combos with Nourish, Spreading Plague, and the Artifacts. Twig, because it's broken, Swipe is okay. A couple Ferocious Howls and some Spellstones. And we've also got Branching Paths, obviously just a very strong Druid card. And it has some additional synergy with the Board Flood Artifact. And then as a bit of a meme, I've got a copy of Leroy and a copy of Faceless. Faceless tends to just be a pretty good card in this deck because of all the big stuff. But the dream is that you discount either Leroy or Faceless, and then you go Leroy plus your plus 10 plus 10 thing, and then Faceless it, either with a second Florist discount or by breaking your twig, and that's a 32 damage combo, which is pretty sweet. And when it all came together, I think I can understand the hype a bit. The deck all just really seems to come together, it can do some powerful stuff, and Rafam is a pretty cool card, all of his artifacts are pretty nice. But unfortunately, the deck does appear to be very pay-to-win. I think it's 10 legendaries and 9 epics. So be prepared to open your wallet if you want to play Artifact, Druid. I just played against a warrior, or, or a warlock, but I don't believe it was this guy. The forest fights back. No real reason to keep any of these, I don't think. This hand does not look great. I was going to take Ultimate Infestation out. It's pretty weird to play like double Nourish, double Psych Melon, Ultimate Infestation. I guess in place of Ultimate Infestation, I'm probably playing like Ferocious Howl. Seems like that could be a good addition to the deck. It is a big thing for Mediv, but I have a lot of like mid tier stuff for Mediv. I don't think I need Ultimate Infestation. So I can go Twig on 4, and then like coin Medivh on 7, instead of just breaking it naturally, but that doesn't actually speed up the Twig clock that much. It's probably better to just coin out the Twig and start smacking him. This will be good. Nice turn. Um, I guess I'm just gaining armor out of this. this Not sure that the armor is actually relevant in this matchup. But it looks like my game plan is break my twig as fast as possible and then cast Ultimate Infestation. And if I'm casting Ultimate Infestation, I don't want the card in my hand, obviously. He's not going to have that to kill my army of mummy zombies or whatever they're called. Silly opponent. This 
So unfortunately I don't have a good 7 cost play. So it looks like my turn 7 might be something stupid like swipe his face just to get it out of hand and then play ultimate infestation when I break the twig. Sylvanas is pretty annoying. I don't really have to kill her though I don't think. Maybe I put the twig into her but I get to go 4 face. And then if he trades, it's like, yeah, he trades. Nice. Or what if I even just go, like, branching paths, push two? I also get the hero power, set him to 11. Let's see. Next turn I go Leroy, Twig, Swipe, Lethal. Easy. Wow, that's so stupid, but it could actually work. Let's see. Fuck it, it's not like I need the armor against Reno Lock, right? Which is what I assume this is. You might even just have to play Reno this turn. So many possibilities. He could have a decent taunt minion here to slow me down. But with hero power on the twig, I even beat Goldshire Footman here. Face! Really? Okay, Dark Pack, sure. So I think my max damage here is 13. I think I have lethal if he taps, but with that many cards in his hand, there's probably a good chance he's not tapping. Wow. Okay. So just to be sure, I played Leroy Hero Power. That's 8 damage. And then Ultimate Infestation is another 5. I think this turn might be more of a clear and then just play Mediv, and then get that juicy 10 drop out of the ultimate infestation. But I could also just set him to 2 and then have ultimate infestation as lethal next turn. What if... As for healing, he could have a spellstone, or pre Guldan, he could have mistress of mixtures plus a way to kill it, but that's not that easy to have. Now how about... Fuck it. We're going. You're at two, buddy. I have five from hand with the second ultimate infestation pickup. Even if he has Reno here, it's like not that big of a deal. No Reno. He would have played Reno there if he had it, so that's good to know. So what exactly is my turn here? Probably just like Lich King double spellstone, kill the tyrants. Wow, he killed one for me. What a bro. So I guess the play is Rafam plus Spellstone. There's no way that I can just like try to burn him out. Best I can do is like Hero Power Swipe into Ultimate Infestation, which is one off. So let's go for Rafam. I think I like 10 damage. Because 10 damage just gets in there. I have the floop for a second Archthief. So I could go like Archthief for another timepiece and then just swipe Hero Power him. And then I have 25 damage over 3 turns. Plus he does have to deal with this 7-8 that's in play right now. And we are pre-Gul'dan. Oh, and actually he played a second Dark Pact, huh? So I guess there's no Reno. Yeah, second spellstone. Okay. So Priest, I'm probably expecting to be Big Priest. Doesn't really affect this mulligan at all because Twig is OP and the other cards are not, at least in the opening hand. So probably Twig on 4, Psych Melon on 5, and then, I don't know, just Spreading Plague, Michael 1-5 on turn 6, screw it. 
I'll probably need to get the card out of my hand. I do still have another Dream Petal Florist in the deck, so that's not a disaster. Wow, he picked that card quick. Might be having some hand size issues for this Psych Melon. Gotta get this twig rolling. So next turn I'm gonna have seven cards in hand. Psych Melon hits me all four of my things and then I overdraw the next card. I think that's probably fine. No barns, feels good man. I hear that some people in Wild don't play barns in Big Priest, which sounds really stupid to me. But apparently it's a thing. So what's my turn 6? It probably is just going to be Spreading Plague. No Yasharaj, feels good man. By Hero Power, I can actually upgrade this and kill the Lich King. I could tempo Bran here, but the Bran is pretty good, so I think I'll hold it. Could faceless that. I think I'm just gonna play this. Discounted Rafam, so I can combo it with Bran. Next turn can be Medivh, which Medivh is the reason that I wasn't worried about hitting with the twig here. Like, I don't think I could take the 8 anyway, but it's nice that I didn't have to worry about it. But anyway, next turn could be Medivh, Faceless his Lich King, and then Bran Archthief Rafam. That's a lot of stuff, but it does involve leaving up the Lich King, so maybe I don't do that. Yikes, I am getting wrecked here. Well, at least he's gonna overdraw next turn. Oh god, I can play Coon as well. Fuck it, let's play Stop. Wait, I can go Plague and then play another Coon? And then Tyrant, play this stuff. Get the 1-5, this, this. I can't even play all of my stuff if I do that. Holy shit. I don't think playing the, uh, the other guy is the play. Let's go with some board flood. Also, I fucked up here. I was supposed to faceless before this so that my fluke would be a reform. I mean, a four mana Lich King is not bad. Okay, there goes Barnes. I wonder if I can die here. He has like three Lich King cards, so I'm sure I could. Alright, let's play some three threes. I expect that he'll have Light Bomber Scream, but then hopefully he won't have another answer for the other one. Does this use a weapon charge? It doesn't. That's nice. Death and Decay. Nice army of the dead. So I got rid of two Excavated Evils. Oh, I actually forgot that was a card. This double Mummy Zombie pick was way worse given that Excavated Evil is a card. 
Is it weird though that he plays two of those, Light Bomb and Psychic Scream? Seems like a lot of stuff. Let's get a six drop. Spreading Plague's not good in this matchup. Death Grip is really powerful. I've only seen a Lich King, and actually it was off of Shadow Essence originally. So there definitely should be something I can steal from his deck. That's a bit of a bummer. I think he still has one Lich King card, maybe? I can play Branching Paths here for some serious damage. I can even play the Plague first. Yeah, let's just go all in. I think if he had a board clear, he probably would have played it last turn. What the fuck does this card do? Destroy this minion if it's your only one. Okay. This that guy's pretty good against Light Bomb. So I set him down to 11, which is honestly not super low. But I do have this Death Coil in hand. Alright, so I can kill this with uh, Upgraded Spellstone and Death Coil, which should just be lethal, right? <laughs> Killed my 1-1. One, one. Uh, I think this is a good kidnapper into Anima Golem lethal. So I played the double mummy zombie thing, and it didn't really do shit that game. But the uh, the whole Medivh breaking twig into Coon, spend 10 more mana play was pretty sick. That was a big nasty play. <laughs> 